What is good YouTube? It's that one camera guy back at it again with another video for you. This is going to be an unboxing and quick first look. Well, my first look of the Aero 15X. It's a new laptop. Well, I wouldn't say it's a new series of laptops. This is actually version eight. But what's really cool about this particular laptop is that it has the new six core mobile processor from Intel. So, so far, most laptops, even Ultrabooks or even power laptops, have only had quad core CPUs. The current computer that I use is a Dell Alienware 13R3. Absolutely love it. Quad core, 30 gigs of RAM, GTX 1060, but this particular laptop steps it up. So, got the box right here. We're gonna go ahead and do an unboxing and we're gonna go and check it out right now. That was the unboxing for the Aero 15X version 8 from Gigabyte. So what I want to go over first is just my general impressions of when I took the laptop out and also some about the build quality of it. First things first, I was just blown away by how small and light this laptop is and how thin it is. Now I'm not saying it's, you know, like a MacBook kind of thinness or something like that, but it's pretty thin. Let's take a look at it from the side here. In terms of overall weight, it's well balanced and it's pretty small and compact. And when you compare it to like a full 15 inch size laptop, it's still smaller than that, but it still keeps the 15 inch screen form factor. So I really like that about this laptop and it surprised me. But what really surprises me is all the stuff they were able to pack in here. So there is a six core, hexa-core CPU in here. You've got a GTX 1070 Max-Q. You've got up to 32 gigabytes of RAM. I believe you've got two M.2 slots and one SSD slot in here. So you have a lot of flexibility in terms of space, power, and speed in such a small form factor. So that's the reason why I'm so blown away. Now I gotta share with you my current daily driver. I mentioned this a little earlier, but it's the Dell Alienware 13 R3. I absolutely love this little laptop here. Well, Granted, it's pretty heavy, but in terms of its form factor and size, it's not too bad. Quad core, I got 32 gigs of RAM in here, two terabytes of like solid state storage. It's doing pretty good for me and it crunches a lot of stuff. Now, the only thing that kind of gets to me is the screen size. It's a little bit tiny, so I do a lot of my editing on my 4K monitor. Uh, and then some things have kind of started to slow down a little bit. I'm not getting the kind of performance I'm looking for where I want to record the screen also uh, take in a video feed and also get that to play smoothly. So I do tutorials and guides at school uh, and uh, some future projects I'm gonna do. And so I wanted something with a little more CPU power and a little more GPU power to help with that. Hey, I wanted to go and add this to the video because I'm trying to see how well the Aero 15X can work editing Premiere Pro on battery. I'm noticing some issues and I wanted to point it out for those of you that are thinking about using it for content creation. So I am gonna test it more, but let's just take a quick look at this because it might interest some of you. I've got Premiere Pro open. So let me go and show you really quick. Uh, battery mode here, 95% battery and 50% brightness. I went ahead and loaded up Gigabyte's software and it's their power option here. And so on their power option, I chose high performance which is gonna you know, run this whole system as best as it can. But now I'm second guessing whether or not that power mode affects it because it has like a plug symbol in it. So hopefully that's not the case. Anyway, so we're set up. We're gonna go ahead and load up this video, which is the video you're watching. So this is a little weird. I'm editing the video that you're watching this off of right now. So um, let's see here. Great, crashed. Try that again. So I guess you can kind of see this working in real time in terms of speed. All right, here we go. So let's try opening my file again. 
we're using the latest version of Premiere. So we've got the file loading up. It's taking a while to load files. So either I got a really bad SSD, it's either really slow, but uh, I mean, that, that wasn't too bad, okay? That wasn't like terrible. And then when I start playing it back, let's see if we have any drop frames. Okay, now we're getting lag on the mouse. The mouse just lagged right there. I don't know if you guys just saw that right now. There was a there was a, just a glitch. Mouse froze, and I see this happening. Either it's switching between uh, the the Intel GPU and that of the external G well the um, Nvidia GPU, but it's it does that ever so often. It kind of reminds me of the Dell XPS 15 when I had it when I was trying it out. But let's go ahead and play this back. This is a one fourth of a 4K timeline. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and. Disable the adjustment layer for right now and play it back. What is good YouTube? It's that one camera guy back at it again with another video for you This is going to be an unboxing and quick first look Well my first look of the Aero 15 X. It's a new laptop. Well, I w okay So it's not too bad. Let's jump to the unboxing section here All right, so that's not bad. We're at one fourth on on here at one fourth. Let's go ahead and push it to full. Now it makes no sense to have it on full, but um, on a 1080p screen. But let's see what it looks like at full. What is good, YouTube? It's that one camera guy back at it again with another video for you. This is going to be an unboxing and quick first look. Well, my first look. Of okay, it's looking good. Let's go ahead and bring in the adjustment layer now. So I brought the adjustment layer back on. The Aero 15X. It's a new laptop. Well, I wouldn't say it's a new series of laptops. This is actually version eight. All right. But what's really We're cool seeing about some this laptop is at that full it resolution. has a new six core mobile processor from Intel. Okay, so just some quick thoughts on this right now. There is going to be some lag on battery power. Uh, when I had it plugged in, I was not having as much issues. So let's go ahead and plug it in. All right, we now have power. We are plugged in and our settings are set to the max setting within the Smart Manager software that Gigabyte pr uh, provides. And we're gonna go ahead and load up Premiere Pro and see how well it does. So again, this is just for you. So you can see what's going on here. So you can see the speed performance. That's a lot faster. Boot up time with it plugged in. Um, let's open up this project. Let's take a look. All right, that loaded up pretty quick. So let's go ahead and bring it back to the beginning. I have it on full, so it's on full now. And I have the adjustment layer activated. It's a 4K timeline. Let's go ahead and play it back. What is good, YouTube? It's that one camera guy back at it again with another video for you. This is gonna be an unboxing and quick first look. Well, my first look. There's a little bit of a dip, but not not substantial. So there's just a few lost frames, but nothing crazy. Yeah. All right, while that's playing, let's check the battery. <coughs> Unfortunately, just telling me how long it's gonna to take to charge, but. All right. So there you go. Um, you gotta have it plugged in if you want best performance, obviously. It looks like initial impressions, you'll be able to edit, you know, in Premiere Pro with some, some you know, nothing crazy on the timeline if you are just going on battery power. Um, battery life looks pretty good. Now, like I said before already, if I was just gonna go out and just type, do some web surfing, that kind of thing, I'm seeing the potential for about six between six to ten hours of battery life which is a lot so this laptop has a lot of potential just gotta check it out you must you, you should have seen some of those little issues and quirks I was while I was recording it I I'm seeing that still it's uh, it, there's a bit of a stutter there's a little bit of a lag don't know if it's the Nvidia Optimus where it's jumping between the GPUs or something but that is a room for concern it was an issue I was having with the XPS 15 and that's the reason why I never kept it it just had 
too many flaky issues with this GPU. My Alienware 13R3 battery life is terrible, but I never have those issues um, with it. So I'm going to definitely edit some more stuff on this and, and update you on that. But make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can catch up on some updates on the Aero 15X. And also post in the comments if you have any questions or something you want me to test out. Again, I don't do a lot of gaming at all, but I mean, I can try. I can make the attempt. So I'll catch you guys later. Bye.